Hey there. I want to discuss why it is that people get so upset when I say the things that I said in my video about animals. Okay, first off, is that people do not want to truly accept that we are just animals. Okay, second, people do not want to accept what we do as animals, what our actual patterns are as animals, particularly in the societies in which we reside. Okay, I've talked about this before, but maybe it will hit a little bit harder for people when they put it in conjunction with my video that I made about our treatment of animals. Okay? Our society is built on three pillars. Control, manipulation, and ownership. If any one of those three pillars gets destroyed, our culture is done. We are through. And we would be starting over with a sort of tribalistic living. Now, in just my talking about this subject, I am actually contributing to the downfall of our society. I accept that this is what I'm doing. I accept that in some ways this is my role in my stating these things. Okay? Because the way that we destroy one of those pillars is by actually looking at the pillars for what they are. If we actually see what we're doing and what we are, we cease to continue doing what we're doing. Now, if we approach it in a way where we view a lot of it is, what it is that we do, but we try to reduce the amount of damage or negative things, um, the negative effects of these three pillars, then we can continue living in our society the way that we do and continue uh, our way of life and do less damage. That's the kind of thing I promote the most, but I do know that if we look too much at the actuality of what we do as a culture, that one of those three pillars will be destroyed. Then as uh, Mozart Jones had brought up, and it's so, tr it's so true, there is a strange kind of crossover between love and control. We don't really understand love. It is a word that we have put onto a whole slew of different things. It is a pretty broad word. It is a pretty broad concept. But it crosses over into a number of different things. But love crosses over into a number of different things. We want to view love as being all about caring. But it's not necessarily. Control is a huge element of it. We as humans are good at these things. That's why our society is built upon them. 
We are good at control. We are good at manipulation. And we do a lot of things because of our concept of ownership. We are able to achieve a lot of the things that we do. We wouldn't have most of this technology. We wouldn't have most of the things we have if it wasn't for the idea of us being able to freely manipulate, control, and own things. We wouldn't have this shit. We wouldn't have it. I don't want to see it go away, in, at least in my lifetime. Now maybe, you know, a couple hundred years from now, we might actually see, oh shit, what have we done? But these three pillars, they are everything that is great about our society, and they are everything that is crap about our society. And until people can actually view it for what it is, then when people like myself bring up how it is that we look at other animals, it's going to upset people. It's going to upset people. There are a lot of things that we can be. There are a lot of different types of cultures that can be built from a number of different types of pillars. But the pillars we have built this culture on are some of the things we're very, very good at. This is sort of like... You know, I think people who write about vampires, vampire novels, vampire movies, in a lot of ways, they try to bring up this issue that the people who find out that they're vampires, this conflict that they have in their heads, when they know what it is that they are, but they just don't want to accept it. I think that is tr those things are trying to bring up some of the parallels that we have as humans, as what it is that we do, what we are. One of the other things that we do the most of is we move around matter more than any other thing on this planet. We are the destructive force, but we are also a force that causes evolution to happen more quickly. Things that would never have been broken apart and recombined in different ways, we do in spades. And then we move those things all around the planet when previously they would have stayed in one spot. This is part of our manipulation of the things that are around us. This is how we do things. This is the reality of humans in these types of cultures. It's also why lying, being dishonest and lying, are a part of our culture. Like I said, this stuff is everything that makes our culture great and, and everything that makes our culture shit. And that's why I have to just chuckle to myself when I see some, some of these people shoving forth all these, you know, this, all this SJW shit. It's like, they, they think they've really latched on to something big. And you look at it from afar and it's just like, you guys don't see shit. So many people don't see shit. Where see shit? See no shit. You know, you don't see it. Or you see part of it, but refuse to look at it. Sort of like damn planes. 
So, the reality of things is, this is what I've meant so much in some of my past videos, saying, you know, we need to embrace the positive things about our animality. Let's try to reduce the negative effects from what it is that we actually are. That is what I push forth. Those are the concepts I push forth. That is my personal, that's my viewpoint of morality. Let's reduce the negative effects of these three pillars as much as we possibly can. But I can't expect people to actually see these three pillars. I can't expect people to look that from, from that far away, to look at what we are from afar. I can't expect it to be something people do. If there was some way for me to word it, for everyone to understand, really, again, it would actually, in actuality, be me saying things that would be contributing to the downfall of our society. And that's why most of the time I try to shove forth, as I said, things that let's prop up the things about our animality that, that hurts as little as possible, that, that, you know, doesn't hurt anyone, doesn't hurt other animals, doesn't hurt other life, and try to reduce the negative effects of the things that we do that do hurt other life. Thanks for watching.